Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Philip Homister, and today I'm going to show you how to export photos from Photoshop for Facebook. <clears throat> Facebook uh, loves to compress photos. If you don't get the uh, resolution just right or the file type or uh, something like that, um, Facebook will compress it and pixelate it and it looks terrible. And for the longest time I was doing that, I, I was just taking a full resolution photo and dropping it right into Facebook and it would just destroy it. I couldn't figure it out because I, everybody else's photos seemed so crisp and clear and, and mine looked great on uh, my computer until I dropped it into Photoshop or uh, into Facebook and Facebook would compress it and just destroy it. And it got, I think here recently, uh, actually it's been getting worse. I think Facebook has actually um, made their compression type even worse and which may be because there's so many fo photos going into the into uh, the cloud these days they probably got to keep up with the file size or whatever I don't know so they got to compress it more so anyway I'm going to show you how to avoid the uh, the evil Facebook compression so uh, what do you, I got a photo pulled up here I want to save it and so uh, oh down here it shows you what your uh, what your photo uh, profile is we're going to go up here to edit and convert the profile. We're going to convert it to sRGB. So you go go in here and click sRGB and click OK. And I'm going to go ahead and resize the photo. It's still full resolution. I'm going to press um, Option Alt I. Pull this up here and the size. And I'm going to change the resolution to 300. And I'm going to change the width to 2048. Now th this is just whatever your long point is of your photo. If it's like this, if it's a horizontal um, photo, you set the width to 2048. If it's uh, vertical, up and down, then you set the height to 2048. So whatever the long point of your photo is, you set that to 2048 because that's kind of this kind of deciding factor. This is as high as Facebook will allow you to go. If you go any bit high, higher than this, Facebook will compress it. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and it'll go down to that size. We can zoom back up if you want, and I'm going to go ahead and. Click uh, Shift Option S, pull up to save, and I'll set the format to JPEG. Click Embed, uh, turn this off, Embed Color Profile, we don't need that. I'm going to just change the uh, name so I don't overwrite anything. <laughs> and set the quality to 10, and go down here to Format Options, and click Baseline Optimize. And go ahead and click OK, and it'll save it to where you saved it, and you can just drop that into Facebook and it should stay as clean as you uh, as it is right here. So I hope that uh, helps you guys. Uh, that was uh, that was a big one for me. I mean, I I uh, ignored that for a long time, for almost two years. <laughs> I've really only been doing this for two years, so this is very recent. I've been doing this, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, put this out there for those of you who don't know. Uh, how to beat Facebook's compression. So if you enjoyed this video, uh, go ahead and subscribe uh, so you can see the other t tutorials and videos as they come out. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.